Today I'm going to show you a magic trick. Can of soda, speaker. Let's get started. What is going on everybody? Jay here from Maji and Jay and today you're about to see the coolest can of soda in history and that's because this is a Bluetooth speaker that came from the website dhk.com and the seller is iBaby888. In case you guys want to check out this product, I have left a link below and it was about 14 US dollars plus DHL shipping so it came to be almost 20 US dollars which is the cheapest Bluetooth speaker that I ever owned. So as you can tell from the first glance or at least from this window, it looks very similar here to my uh, empty Coca-Cola can with the exception that this one is a little bit bigger. But we know that in different countries we have different sizes. Some of them are very thin, some of them are very thick and short, and some of them are a little longer and uh, thinner. So it all depends on what country you are. As a matter of fact, not too long ago I had a collection, I believe I have it at my mom's house, where I have different type of sodas, uh, you know, different sizes and so on. I wanted to show it to you guys, but unfortunately it is not here. So getting a look around the box, the first message we see here, it says uh, probably the coolest can speaker in the world, which I believe it. Um, on the side it says can speaker, but it doesn't say that it has Bluetooth capabilities. On the back we have here some of the information in a different language. Now I believe this is a beer brand, so I'm suspecting that maybe this is inside the wrong box. I could be wrong, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take a look inside of the box. So here we got the can itself. Now. When you look at it from the side for a moment, you might think it's real, but immediately after you look here on the top side, you can tell that there's a speaker inside and that something is absolutely wrong. You must have a really big mouth in order to, you know, need this kind of opening. Usually it's about this big, but you guys can see there the similarities. It can trick anybody for a brief moment, I would say. On the bottom, you can see that, of course, the uh, one from DH Gate is made out of plastic. This uh, uh, is entirely actually made of plastic, but they made it feel like if it was uh, some sort of a metal, especially when you press on it, it feels like aluminum. So that's very cool. Now, inside of this box, we also find the USB cable. Uh, this also has the auxiliary uh, cable as well for music and stuff. So that's very neat. We got the manuals, which are totally useless, at least here in my country. They're completely in Chinese, so I can't understand a thing. So that's it for the box. Now let's go ahead and check out the product here with a little bit more details. So getting a look here around the soda can, we can already notice that we had two separate logos on the side. On the back, we have a barcode. Now something they didn't include is the nutrition facts, just like we see on the original product. Well, maybe they could have added something similar with the specifications of the speaker instead of adding the calories and such. That would have made it really cool and more realistic looking. And also the color here doesn't go all the way to the top like we see on the original can. So other than those two little issues, this thing is quite close to the real one. Let me go ahead and do a side by side comparison. There we can see the Coca-Cola logos. We even have the barcodes located almost at the same place and such. Like I said before, the only exception here is that this one is a little bit smaller. So getting a look here on the bottom side of the can, we have some important components. One of them is the USB port. This is only for flash memories. We have here a multi-functional button. This is going to serve as a play, pause, skip. We can also increase and decrease the volume. And finally, change the modes. It comes with three different modes. One of them is Bluetooth, auxiliary, and also FM radio, which is really, really nice. We also have a TF card reader. We got a notification LED light. We have the USB port for charging purposes, the 3.5mm headphone jack, and finally the on and off switch. So to get this thing started, it's pretty straightforward. First of all, you must charge it. Make sure that you give it at least one hour because it comes with about 25 to 30% out of the box and it's going to give you approximately one hour and a half of usage. Now, if you fully charge it, it's going to be four hours and a half, which is absolutely amazing considering the size of this little Bluetooth speaker. Then after this, you're going to go ahead and turn it on. Now by default, it's going to be in Bluetooth mode and you're going to hear a lot of things going on because it has paired with my device before, which is the Ellie Max 2. So let me go ahead and turn it on for you guys. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. The Bluetooth device is connected successfully. So there we go, it has connected already. And if you go here into my settings, we go into Bluetooth, you're going to notice here the name that it uses is called YX002B, which is a very real code, but yes, that's the name of it. And then after it's paired, you're all set. It has a great range. It goes for about 15 to 20 feet away before cutting off, which is absolutely amazing as well, considering how tiny this thing is. I believe it's carrying the Bluetooth 4.1 inside. 
So to change the modes, it's also quite simple. Remember that I told you this is a multifunctional button. So all you have to do is uh, press it by the middle side and it'll go into, I think it's radio mode. The radio mode up. There we go. And as you guys can tell, it is not getting any reception whatsoever. Let's go ahead and flip it here to the side. If you move it to the side, it'll change the station for you. So far, it's not reading anything, guys. I mean, it takes a lot for it to do. You will most likely have to go outside, so the reception is not going to be the best, to be honest with you. So then, if you press it for about another two seconds, it'll go into auxiliary mode. Aux input mode. There we go. And now this means that you can connect either a memory stick on here or a TF card or even the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. So that's the main purpose of it. And if you press it once more, it'll go back into Bluetooth mode. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. So I found a channel on YouTube that are claiming that their songs are non-copyrighted guys because I've been having tons of issues with YouTube. I mean, it's just unreal. As a matter of fact, one of my videos in trouble, whatever, but I'm working on it and I'm just trying to keep away from that copyright issue thing, guys. Everything is a copyright issue. So I guess there are robots or whatever are getting smarter by the day. So if you go here into history, I believe it's my last video that I search and this is it. Um, it's coming from the channel Flying Tunes. And they have uh, this video where they are claiming that these are the top 50 non-copyrighted music. Um, a lot of people are writing nice things about them. It has a lot of likes, so I am trusting that these are non-copyrighted because if they are, guys, you know that most likely YouTube will remove it and I will possibly get a strike, which is not a good thing. So with this being said, let me go ahead and uh, start the testing. I will get the mic closer to the speaker so that way you can listen to the quality a little bit closer and hopefully the best way possible. So I'm just moving the microphone right now. Well, 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 there we have it for the testing on this little can of soda. I want you guys to tell me on the comment section below what you think about it. I think in my opinion for 14 US dollars, it sounds okay. Uh, this is considered a very cheap Bluetooth speaker, so don't expect anything crazy, guys. This is not a party speaker. This is not going to give you a lot of volume or loudness, if you want to call it that way. It is not going to give you a lot of bass. This is just a little decoration to have either around your office. You can have this in your room. You can have this pretty much anywhere around your house. And trust me, it's going to get a lot of attention because of how cool it is and the idea behind it. 
but I didn't get this or didn't review it expecting that you guys you know were gonna be thrilled with the sound or anything like that I just thought it was cool and that's why I decided to bring it here on YouTube so I want to get your opinion about it again they come in different models they have Sprite they have 7up they also have uh, Pepsi it comes in Budweiser and Heineken I believe so you will see that on the link below and again uh, don't forget to leave your comment below if you have any questions subscribe for more thanks for watching and I'll see you on my next one